Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel where I show you Russia from the inside. Today we have a really interesting video. We're going to talk about Russian superstitions. In Russia we have lots of superstitions. And when I was writing a scenario for this video, I was shocked by the number of superstitions I follow every day. So I'm really excited to tell you about this. Let's dive in. The first superstition in Russia is that we avoid crossing a black cat's path. Similar to Western culture, crossing a black cat's path is considered a bad luck. So this belief comes from the ancient time when black cats were associated with witchcraft and evil spirits. The, third, the second superstition is knocking on the wood three times, like, like this. It is a common superstition in Russia when you don't want something to happen, you pronounce it and you say, and you like knock on the wood, for example. Mm. They would unsubscribe my channel to talk, like talk, talk, talk. It is believed to ward off and protect uh, you from the misfortune. The origin of it comes from ancient time again when wood was believed to keep evil spirits inside. So if you like knock it off, it goes away. The third superstition is weird. It's to throw a pinch of salt through the left shoulder. It is believed when you spill the salt, for example, you cook something accidentally, you like spill the salt all over the table, it can uh, bring uh, bad luck and misfortune to your house. So to avoid this, you take a pinch of this peeled salt and throw it over the left shoulder so that, like, you protect yourself somehow. I don't know how, but it's always like this. The fourth uh, superstition comes from my university years, a night before the exam, when the midnight strikes, students uh, scream out of the windows, халява приди, it means uh, Halava, it means like bargain or something like e easy, easy exam, easy exam. Like if you get like luck, halava it's kind of like kind of luck. So you just say luck come in, luck come in. They open their windows uh, and they scream out of the windows and they wave their uh, like there's a credit card, credit book with all your credits from the university and you wave this book inside the uh, from the window and you scream and it's so funny because like the day and night before exam you can hear the screams all over the university campus that was really funny the fifth superstition is looking into the broken mirrors it's a really bad luck if you can see broken uh, Miro, you should not see yourself in it. In like in ancient times, uh, mirrors considered to be mystical and mysterious place of evil spirits. So if you like see yourself in the broken mirror, it means that evils can take your soul because like you see yourself in this uh, world of spirits. So it's considered a really bad luck. And if you see yourself you should crack this uh, mirror till it's gone. <laughs> like, you should break it completely so that uh, you would kill all the spirits. The sixth superstition is that whistling indoors is bad luck. It's a, it's a sign that you won't have money. I, I do remember this one because when I was learning how to whistle, I still don't know how to do like this. No, I'm, I'm really bad at it. And then when, when I was doing so, my mother told me, stop whistling, we won't have any money because of you. <laughs> I don't know why, but if you whistle, it means that uh, you can uh, attract bad luck and evil spirit that can take your money away. The seventh superstition is associated with number 13, which is a uh, common in the, in the world. Uh, number 13 is considered a bad luck and even though Mm, uh, when you travel by train, sometimes they don't have 13th carriage, like car number 13, they don't have it. And once I was traveling and on my train they had uh, 13th car, 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 
and I was traveling in the 13th car and my grandmother was so worried about me like I hope you will be all right there <laughs> so it's number 13 especially Friday 13 it's always uh, something like ah mysterious something bad will happen but uh, it's not so serious it's just because of the Hollywood movies people are so concerned about number 13 and especially Friday night so yeah the eighth superstition is number of flowers you carry. If you like want, want to bring someone flowers, you should only buy odd number of flowers because even a number of flowers is always considered with funerals. If someone dies, people bring even a number of flowers for funerals, and it's considered really bad luck if you accidentally bring someone. Who is alive uh, even number of flowers uh, it means that this person will die so you should always check how many flowers you have in your bouquet before you bring it to someone's uh, house the ninth superstition is kind of weird it's uh, passing objects through the threshold uh, especially doorway if someone gives you something for the threshold you shouldn't you, sh you shouldn't take this because thresholds are considered uh, like uh, doorways from the, uh, especially from your house. Like Slavic people, they believe that like, like they have their house and it's like sacred uh, place, it's clean, clean spirits, yeah? And the threshold like divides uh, clean spirits and bad spirits like from the outdoor. So if you like pass one object <laughs> Uh, for the threshold and you want to get it in your house it means that you will open this uh, way for evil spirits if you want to get something from other person you should go out and take this object when this person should come in and you can exchange uh, something so it's really considered a bad luck but now it's not so popular uh, unconsci unconsciously <laughs> but Unconsciously, I do that. I cannot give someone objects through the threshold. It's uh, like on, on the base of my mind sometimes. And tenth superstition is uh, watching a shooting star. If you see a shooting star, it means you're lucky and you need to make a wish as soon as possible so that that wish will come true. I think it's quite common everywhere, but it's uh, you know in my childhood we used to watch stars really often with my sister and we were looking for shooting stars to make our wishes so it's quite a um, good superstition it, even though it's quite common all over the world so these are 10 russian superstitions that we have in our everyday life and they are not like extraordinary for my culture but i do follow them every day actually please leave a comment in the comment section and tell me which of these superstitions you have in your culture and which extraordinary superstitions do you have in your country i would like to hear about them really so this is all for today and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you like this video and follow my channel for more interesting and fascinating videos about russian world and culture and how we survive here Thanks a lot for watching, have a nice everything and see you in the next videos, bye!